Okay, so I heard about this. James Howard on Twitter said that he had spent his Christmas holiday, 22-23, uh, making Wolfenstein 3D not only work in CGA, as you can possibly make out from this tiny little thumbnail here, but also work on an 8088 or an 8086 class machine. So if you remember, uh, Wolfenstein 3D came out in 1992 from id Software. It worked and worked only on a 80286 CPU or better and only in VGA. So I, uh, I'm gonna do what it says here. Uh, I downloaded the, uh, the files from GitHub. So there's actually a few uh, files on the GitHub uh, in Wolfenstein CGA. There is the release files, but also the source code. So you can download the source code and play with it to your heart's content. There's actually a few modes of it. There's the classic four color RGB mode with red palette, that's CGA of course. There's the magenta palette, uh, which I think looks a bit more garish. Um, but some people, I guess, who love CGA might want to play it in this mode. And then there is the composite CGA mode, which looks a lot better. But of course, if you're using composite, you have to uh, connect it to a composite screen, uh, you know, a, a, not a monitor itself, um, or a monitor that supports composite mode. Then there's the experimental Tandy mode, which looks actually pretty awesome. Uh, and then there's the inverse monochrome mode. And then uh, if you're using it on like a widescreen monochrome thing, like I guess, um, uh, an HP LX1000, one of those sort of stretch displays, then you can do that. So you have to have a, a version of Wolfenstein, of course, to run this. Um, you can use the, um, the shareware version, but of course, if you've got the full registered version, then that's great. Uh, what you need to do uh, is then download this code here um, and then uh, run the executable called CGAFI on a modern PC like this. Um, so there's also um, not only the the source code but there's also the releases um, which is here so all you need to do is download one of these versions based on what you have either the registered version or the shareware version and then download that within the folder that you've got the uh, registered version so um, this is the folder which I've got all of that in and you can see here's my uh, the output of all of that. So here's the original files, VGA heads, VGA graph, the original Wolfenstein 3D EXE. Uh, most notably, it says it has to be version 1.4, which I think is the most up-to-date version of Wolfenstein 3D. So make sure you've got all of that. And then uh, you run this file here called CGAFI and just run that on a normal uh, Windows PC. And it goes ahead and basically reads in all of those um, files, all the VGA files that is. And then outputs all of these files, which are the CGA files. So CGA graph, CGA dict, etc. And then all you need to do is swap it over, go onto your uh, your mo your old PC and run this Wolf 3DC XE. And we're going to do that right now. Here we go. This is actually a 80286, so it might run faster than yours. This is uh, the XT model um, 286. So let's just see how this works. I mean, there's the title screen. This is very exciting for me because I have literally never seen Wolfenstein run on anything less than a, a VGA 286 with about, you know, between 8 and 10 megahertz. So this is a 6 megahertz 286 with, uh, yeah, with. It's amazing. It's even detected my EMS, which is crazy because that's a sort of proprietary EMS machine. Uh, it's got an Intel inboard on it. Anyway, not that it needs EMS to, to run this game. Let's see. Oh, wow. Here we go. Will we get any music?
I don't hear any music, so maybe that's been cut out of it. Does it does suggest that it's running on a sandblaster though, but I can't hear it. Okay, let's just see if the um, if the view is set. I'm just going to be really um, overzealous here and just go straight to like full size, um, which is probably not going to work very well. It's probably going to be a really slow frame rate, but. Uh, Go for the worst and then dial it back from there, I guess. Okay, let's do a new game. You can see up here it says which episode to play. Very, very, uh, it's very quite hard to see. Bring him on. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that get sight screen go forever as slow as that before. Um, I actually did play this game when it first came out. Uh, when I was a member of the Boys Brigade, which is like kind of like the Cub Scouts in the UK. Um, and it was playing, I was playing on a VGA 286 clone machine. And I don't, I, I mean, look, I was a kid, so, um, but I don't recall it going that, that slow. Um, but hey, it's still brilliant that I'm playing this on a, on an EG. This is actually an EGA display, but um, there isn't an EGA version of this. It's just CGA at the moment. I have already done, uh, annoyingly, I've asked the author um, if he, he could possibly make an EGA version, but, uh, but we'll see. Here we go. Wow. And that frame rate, isn't actually that bad for saying I've pretty much full screened it. It's playable. Still not hearing any sound from the sound blaster. But yeah, that, that frame rate is it's not insanely bad. I'm going to see if I can switch on the sound at uh, the PC sound. And I'm going to take the view down just one bit. Maybe that'll be slightly easier. Sound. I'll go to none PC speaker. There we go. Rip. Back to game. Already at 79% health. Thanks. Well, you can see for yourself that the graphics are. Um, they're, they're, oh, look, if you were playing this in 1992 on, on your CJ machine and that's all you had you'd be loving this. <laughs> Can't see him. There he is. There he is. How about this then? So there you go. Um, that's Wolfenstein 3D in CGA. Ideally, hope I mean I know the performance will take a real hit to display 16 colors instead of um, instead of four colors, which is what you're obviously seeing here. Um, but it would certainly be good to, to see it in 16 colors. So maybe if we could have a 286 version, but running uh, in 16 colors, that would really, that would really be awesome for me. 
But look at this, running perfectly fine um, on, on a low-end machine. I will, uh, I will put this on a, an XT at some point, and a, and a, you know, on a, a true 8088 at some point in the future, but this is my sort of daily driver retro machine, and um, it works great, works really well. It's not obviously a high power 286, it's a low end 286 with 6 MHz, so it's fairly close in performance to an XT in any case. Lovely. So there you go. Uh, what do you think of this? Uh, do you think the graphics are too hard to see, or or do you think this is um, this is a really nice version, a really nice bit of work? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.